Righto, Talieri champs, and here we have some benchmarks from the 7900 XT, and yes, these are all at 4K max settings. So we're going to be comparing the RTX 4090 to some of these benchmarks here at 4K max settings, and see what the difference is between a 4090 and a 7900 XTX. So yeah, nah, let's do it. Now, there are some very salient points here, right? AMD have now publicly come out and said... The RX 7900 XTX does not compete with a RTX 4090. That's from Frank Azor, the ex-Alienware dude. That is publicly on the record now, and that's why they said they didn't have any comparison benchmarks, because no one has an RTX 4080. AMD have also publicly come out and said this GPU, the 7900 XTX, is 50-70% to faster than the 6900 XT, or 6950 XT, should I say. Crikey, let me translate that for you. 70% is the outlier. It's really about 50% faster. So that would mean the RTX 4090 would be about 27% faster than the 7900 XTX. But this GPU only costs $1,000 and it's 50% faster than the last model. <laughs> That's pretty good in my box. What we also know is the RTX 4080 is coming out. This GPU will be slower than that. AMD know it, that's why they've priced it at, you know, 1000 versus 1200 of the 4080 because we know, based on CUDA cores, memory speed, the RTX 4080 won't be 27% slower than the 4090. So I think it's safe to assume the 7900 XTX will go blow for blow with a 4080 but end up being slower. And surprise, that's where AMD have priced it, a little bit lower than the 4080 because if they thought it was on parity or faster, they definitely would charge the, exactly the same or a hundred dollars cheaper so anyway let's get into these benchmarks and see how much faster or slower it is from amd's cherry picked 4k max setting benchmarks let's do it all right so here we are playing call of duty uh, modern warfare 2 and amd claim 139 i'm playing with a controller oh that's really hardcore to play with a controller but we're not looking at the gameplay here we're looking at the fps and we don't know where amd tested this but this is multiplayer and they claim 139 frames per second and I think you can see clearly we're getting over that with a 4090 although I can't, why can't I turn? What's going on? The controller I'm not sure why I can't turn but as you can see here I think we're, you know, well exceeding the 139 frames per second AMD claim an HDR those flashbangs are crazy in HDR, I've got to give you the tip, but we'll just go have a look at the benchmark, 4K ultra settings, this is with HDR and everything enabled, uh, max settings like uh, AMD said, and we'll just go have a look at the benchmark scores. You can see there at the bottom, 157 frames per second versus 139, so a little bit faster there, let's test some other games. So, AMD claim 98 FPS. Uh, well, you can see here, uh, probably about 20% faster here, the 4090, because we're getting 130, 145, 150 frames per second, or 111 there. Let's just benchmark it. Of course, we don't know where AMD actually benchmarked this, but I mean, there's a bit of action going on here. I mean, I mean it's not a big, you know, highly detailed scene, but... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on at least, a lot of effects, and we'll just run that benchmark. You can see here, it's going to be that 20, 30% faster, the 4090. Yeah, you can just sort of see that. One thing, one thing with the telemetry in the top left-hand corner, can someone tell me how I can get the frequency and wattage of the 13900K with Afterburner? Because I've tried to hook up hardware info, I just can't get that. I usually can get the wattage and uh, the frequency of the CPU but and this is all running all stock of course but um yeah let's look at the benchmark so I guess there you can see on the bottom there yep yeah, 130 FPS so 30% faster right 30 30 frames per second faster AMD said 50% faster than the last gen and yeah still around that 27 30% slower than the 4090 all right so we have Red Dead Redemption here and AMD claim 93 frames per second Doing 120 on this 4090 stock settings, as I said. Um, these are 4K max. I mean, stock settings on the GPU and CPU. This is 4K max, and you can see we're getting whoa, 27 again, 27 FPS more than the uh, 
you know, the 7900 XTX. So again, it's that 27, 30% faster, the 4090. And yeah, you can see it's a consistent 120 here. Um, yeah, 93 versus 120, I'm gonna benchmark it. And yeah, again, that 27%, as I said before, it's gonna be there. It's gonna be that 27, 30% faster, the 4090. I bet when AMD got these in the labs and they were doing, you know, initial testing, they probably thought 50% faster than the last gen. We're gonna be kicking goals here. We're really gonna be competing with Nvidia, but at the high end, yeah, nah. The 4090 is just gonna crush it. And this is doing a consistent 120. And I can get a lot more out of this, believe me. I can overclock the CPU. I can overclock that GPU a little bit. Um, so I could probably get another five frames, maybe a little bit more. So it's very interesting. Um, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. So they're the three benchmarks I've chosen. You can see there that the, you know, the six, seven, nine, <laughs> I nearly said 6900, 7900 XTX is going to be a fast card. It's going to be competing with the 4080, not the 4090, and it's going to be cheaper. I don't think it will be the 4080 either. I think it's going to be a little bit short of that, but $200 cheaper, so it's still a good graphics card, but 4090 rules the roost here, and yeah. So there's the FPS, and it says their average of 116, but um, yeah. There you go. Wolf.